Hi, I'm Ryan from Mate Test Battle, and today we have a follow-up video on this blaster we featured in a previous loadout video. And showing it off, we have the creator. Me, I'm Zen. Hi. Zen is a regular at our HVZ games, and this is totally inside the Raven shell, which is why I'm yes, really yeah. keen to see how you put it together. We can do the honors. On screw montage. Zip, 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 zip. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's the same battery as I use. 2S graphene? Ah, uh, it's a 3S. 3S. Oh, 3S graphene. It's just a slip clutch. <laughs> that's a lot of screws. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want the kids accidentally taking the car. I mean, not that it stops you, it just irritates you. Um, that's it. It's almost. <laughs> <laughs> Da -da -da -da. Oh, See? Seamless. That is really neat. You know, yeah, that's cool. So you've basically just hot glued in one of those 90 degree gearboxes. Yep. And then this part is just between... What piece of... Is that foam or polystyrene? Uh, I think it's just some styrene sheet. Yeah, styrene sheet so it slides easily. And then that's just exactly the same as a, a strife auto pusher, but just sideways. shorter. Yep. Yeah, and sideways. That is really clever. That car oh, okay, and it also sits up underneath it as well. Yep. Ah, yeah. smart. And is that that stock? Uh, Grind the teeth off? From what I remember, I'm pretty sure I had to cut the uh, rest of the teeth off. But it's uh, epoxy in place. It was super glued, but then I was fiddling with it and it came out, so... Ah, okay. What gauge wire is that? That's pretty thick. It's all 16 gauge, because yeah. I built it for 180s. And then I can see you've got um, worker, worker wheels. wheels on the inside. Yeah. Yep. And then this uh, aluminium guide. How far in does that go? Actually, I can't pull it out. Oh, Only okay. about that far. I wired it up using diagram Psych actually put out for Strife. I just had to rearrange everything. Um, yeah, it, look, it looks pretty on that similar stuff. to the um, just the normal Rapid Strike one. Just set up with uh, motor braking and all that. And the uh, gearbox setup, I took the idea from uh, Moderate Skill. I watched his video about his Auto Strife. I watched his first one and his revision. Uh, first one, obviously, he used Vulcan parts. He decided he couldn't keep doing that, so he went for the uh, Lego parts route, which I would have gone for if I could find the Lego parts <laughs> for cheap, which I couldn't. So I just I had a spare Vulcan lying around, so I just thought, why not? Yeah, Vulcans are hard to... They're, they're outclassed and they're just so clunky. I, I can see demand for Vulcan parts going up quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. That is just really clever. So um, that's just mounted straight. Can you take that out or is that? Yeah, actually I can I can take it apart right now. Yeah. Oh dude, you reckon you could fit a 180 in there? Definitely. That would there's, be sick. There's plenty of space. Since it's just hot glue, it just came loose. Oh, so I can just cake. pull it out. <laughs> Glorious. Because... Nerf Haven Shelby, please. <laughs> Oh, so wow. there's oh, the pinion's been pushed back a bit, but there's the uh, 130 Rhino, mm -hmm. and that goes into the gearbox here. Damn. And that's all just right and that right just physically. rests in place in there, and then the rest of the shell holds it in, or is uh, there any screws or what? No, actually, what keeps the pusher in place? The actual like uh, the, it's a combination the, of the stem. Uh, yeah, and this boss here manages to push against the hot glue. Pretty much perfect to fit in the uh, shell, there was just enough clearance. Normally, hot glue goes everywhere. You get strings and it just turns into a giant blob. How did you get a clean block? I have a secret hot glue technique I like to use. Passed down by the, through the generations? Through generations, yes. This is ancient hot glue technology. Mm -hmm. Is that um, where they, they fold it and like layers and layers and layers? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's uh, <laughs> additive manufacturing with hot glue. If you have like a flathead screwdriver that's pretty fat or a chisel or anything metal really because then you can just press it up against the hot glue and then if you pull it away quickly enough basically you cool like the first millimeter of hot glue yeah and the rest is still mold but the uh, that front face is now solid enough to keep the rest of the hot glue from just like gushing out. I reckon some enterprising person on the internet could make a 3D printed yeah, replacement. Yeah quite easily just a box to hold the uh, gearbox. Yeah, exactly. Just this then... plate, and then you could just drop that, and then printing this part might be possible. I reckon you could do it. Look out. Next week, Dean will have a loom kit. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Dean. Damn, that's, that's cool. That is so simple. Yeah. So, so when I started off, actually, I just thought about orienting the uh, pusher like, like that, mm -hmm. obviously. Yeah. But I couldn't get the... Uh, there wasn't enough space, really. And doing that, obviously, you'd have to rework the uh, pusher assembly. Yeah, you'd have yeah. the uh, rack on the underside. 
I stumbled across this method and it worked out, so I kept going with it, and in the end it actually all worked out. So it basically it's just attached to a pretty beefy return spring, uh -huh. Raven loves to jam its pusher on top of darts in the clip. clip. Oh, that's the stock Raven pusher. The only Raven I have, I gutted and turned into a HPA blaster, so I didn't recognize that that was the stock part. I thought this whole piece here was from the Vulcan. So really, the only parts that you've added in are this, the, the rack, and then this supporting just chunk here. Yeah, Damn. I take the plate off. And then is that the the normal return spring? Ah uh, no, oh, what's that? It's just something from a. I'm not sure if it was from a bin of springs I had lying around, or it's actually from the Vulcan. Oh, fair enough. Just buy an assorted yeah. uh, retention spring box. So basically, uh, after yep, the plate yep. comes off, yep. and the pusher comes out. But the pusher. Oh, that's right. Usually, there's a metal bar yeah, that, that runs just up here. Pulls to it the... across. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and since it's just like the U shape, it's quite flimsy towards the end, which is why I added this uh, support piece in. Of course, you've got the gear pressure on that. Yeah, I'm surprised I actually managed to get it all to work, given that I didn't, I didn't like take any measurements or anything. I just <laughs> sort of freeballed it and it worked. That is so simple and so effective. I'm I'm shocked. Yeah. So we definitely need to put a link for these gear boxes in the description. I've seen them around on eBay. They they're fight really around. cheap, they're, aren't they? They're dull. Yeah. They're cheap as. And you can get metal ones too. Oh. Is is this a specific reduction ratio? 1 to 48? Okay, 1 to 48. What rate of fire do you roughly get out of this? With the Rhino, mm -hmm. I get about 12 darts per second. Ooh, nice. Thereabouts. It's controllable. Damn. <laughs> That's a lot of hot glue. <laughs> As I've said in a, a much earlier video, hot glue is the magic of Nerf. Um, I'm just waiting now for someone to make this part riser block attached with some sort of plate here so that this gearbox can screw, screw in. into it directly. Yeah. Hell, I might make it myself. It's going down for real. An another oh, increase cool. in demand for Ravens. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, imagine doing this to, like, a an Elite or a Stinger. If anyone is or a fan who wants to donate a Stinger Raven... <laughs> Or an elite raven, or a green raven, or one of each. That way we can combine oh. all three. Okay, you, you do it, you do it. Full spectrum no, 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 raven. No. You take you take the right of the stinger and the left of the elite. Actually, Reese did a, a, a long shot like that, didn't he? He yeah, had a yeah. blue long shot shell and a yellow long shot shell. It looks like those uh, lobsters that you see. Do two half and halves, and then dual wield them. <laughs> <laughs> Basically this came about because I, well, I wanted a raven. I thought I would have a strife already, why not make my raven fuller? I had a look around on the internet, grab a long shot stock, grab a rapid strike pusher, and just stuff it in there. It's always sad though, yeah. you gotta sacrifice a rapid strike. It's not just that, it just, it always adds that big chunky butt stock. Yeah. yeah which is, I, I mean, I've seen it, yeah, it can look cool. It's fine, like kudos to the people who did it first because, well, we didn't have access to kits. And so we didn't have, just we didn't know. think about it. But now we have we have the technology. <laughs> the technology this isn't there yet. <laughs> the feedback loop of knowledge and of uh, applying yeah, ideas. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, I don't think I've ever seen anyone do it this way before in a Raven. So props, because mm. that is super compact. Well, thank you so much for showing this to everyone who's seen it. This isn't a manual. This isn't a build guide, but you know, this is such a, a simple way. Like it's it's so simple. I'm surprised it hasn't been done before. Yeah. Super so, cut of Ryan saying simple. <laughs> I've, I've just. It's yeah. so, it's, you take the piece. You glue one thing on the pusher, and it's done. You, you need to do more shell work to do a strife or a rapid strike than to make this. And you can technically still fit a battery in it. The flywheely stuff is pretty standard. It's just like, done. I love it. And then suddenly all of the Vulcans disappear from <laughs> thrifting stores across America. Indeed, indeed. Now what we should do is um, get the dimensions of this gear and then see if there's like available ones online. Well, thank you very much, Zen, for bringing this in. I think this is just really cool. I've been gushing about how simple it is and just how damn effective one of these kits is in a Raven. This has been Zen's Auto Raven, and I'm pretty sure this look has been just educational enough. See ya. Bye! How come the super glue is so neat? Super did, glue? Did you, yeah, oh, the hot glue. A uh, hot glue, sorry. Why is the hot uh. glue... Hot oh, dang. That's pretty cool. It's such a different sound when you've got motor braking on the flywheels as well.